All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the arc length, which I want you to be careful not to get confused with arc measure. So the arc length is the length of the distance from one point to another around the edge of the circle. So it's basically part of your circumference. So the arc measure was the same as the central angle, but the length of the arc we're going to look at in terms of a formula. So the arc length formula is length equals x, which is the degree measure of the arc, times your circumference, divided by 360, because 360 is the total measure of the entire circle. All right, you may want to write down circumference again. Every time you look at these makes it easier to remember. So circumference is 2 pi r or pi times diameter. So if you want to plug that in for c, you can do that, and it may make the formula a little more straightforward. So x, the degree measure of the arc, times 2 pi r, which is equal to circumference, divided by 360. So these are equivalent formulas. Um, I just want to put this in here because it makes it a little bit more straightforward when you're looking at a problem. All right, let's look at some examples. Find each arc length round to the nearest hundredth. All right, if EB is 15 centimeters, here's EB. All right, so that's a radius. Find the length of CD. So we're looking for the length, not the measure, the length of that arc. All right, so we do need the measure of the arc, which is X. Um, and we can find that by saying this is a semicircle. And we know that this is 68. So we can do 180 minus 68 to get the 112 here. All right, and then we're just going to plug it into the formula. L equals 112 times 2 pi r, um, twice our radius. 2 times 15 is 30 pi, and then divide that by 360. All right, so if we do 112 times 30, that's going to give us 300... 3,360 pi over 360. So we're just simplifying at this point. All right, if you want to go ahead, pi is a number um, approximately to 3.14, but there is a button in your calculator. If you have a TI-84, if you push second and the little caret button or the button under clear, you'll see the pi button. So 3,360 pi or times pi divided by 360 is going to give you about 29.32 and this is in centimeters. Now I'm going to erase this equal sign because once we multiply by pi, that's an irrational number, it is now an approximate answer, not an exact answer. So the length from C to D is about 29.32 and it says round to the nearest hundredth so that's two decimal places all right number 11 says if nr nr is our radius here is eight feet find the length of nmp so here's n m and p all right, so we can see that um, this one is 162 degrees. The arc measure is the same as the um, central angle. So if that's 162, that means this one will have to be 18. And these are cords that cross through the center. So both of those are diameters. So that makes those two angles equal as well. So we need those in order to find the x. So the length equals, so the formula says x is the degree measure of the arc, and we're looking for this 
arc n m p so we have to add 18 162 and 18 so that's going to give us 198 times um, diameter pi r 2 pi r all right so we know this is 18 sorry the degree is 18 we know the radius is 8 so we know all the way across is twice that okay so the diameter is twice the radius so the diameter is 16 not 18 so we have 16 pi and then we're going to divide that by 360. so to simplify we're going to do 198 times 16 times pi divided by 360. And you may do this with one less step. I just kind of like to show, like this is an exact measure. Um, you probably can reduce the fraction. But then once I go to the last step, once I put pi in my calculator, and get an approximate answer. So if I do 3,168 times pi divided by 360, I'm going to get about 27.65, and this time we are in feet. All right, for number 12, it says if VS is 12, so V and S are both on the circle, so that means this is the diameter instead of the radius this time. So this is the diameter. Find the length of UT, okay? All right, so since I have 127 given, and this is a semicircle, I know that this has to be 53, and this one also has to be 53. If this one's 90 and this one's 53, this one's 37. So let's go ahead and look at the length formula. So the length formula is, all right, I'm looking for UT, so I'm going to take that measure, 37, and times that by the diameter pi, and the diameter this time is 12 pi over 360. So you can see this works the same way each time. It's just about being able to figure out what the different parts of the circle are. All right, so it's going to be about 3.87. And if I go up here, this one's in meters. All right, for number 13, it gives us JH. JH, again, is the diameter. And it says find the length um, KJG. So this is a major arc, means it's above 180. And you always follow the letters in the order they are. So K, J, and G. So you bypass these other um, letters, it doesn't matter. But the um, arc KJG is everything in the circle except that 26. So we're going to have an arc length, our x is going to be 360 minus 26, which is 334, times our diameter pi, so 21 pi divided by 360. Seven thousand fourteen pi, divide that by 360, and that's going to give us an approximate answer of 61.21 and this time it's in inches so that is the length of that part of the circle all right for number 14 it says f g so f G is your center, so this is our radius this time instead of our diameter. And it says find the length of F, E, D. So this means 90. We know the whole thing is 360. So 360 minus 90 minus 47 minus 80, that gives us this measure of 143. So we're going to find the length 
So we need to do F, E, D. So we need 143 plus 90. So our measure is going to be 233 times, and this time it's our radius, so we have to double 27 to get the diameter. So 54 pi over 360. And I'll multiply 233 times 54. I get 12,582 pi. I'm going to multiply that by pi and divide by 360. And we're going to get about 109.8. And this time it's 0.8. And that's in yards. All right, you may say, why did you round to 0.8? And we're supposed to be round in two decimal places. But if you type this in your calculator, you will see that you get 109.798. And because that rounds up, that's going to round up, and you kind of have to leave it that way. All right, working on the last one here, if WS, WS, W is the center, so that's my radius, find the length of TS. All right, so I went ahead and filled in these parts as well. Again, this is a semicircle, so you know that this equals 180. So 180 minus 128 gives you the 52. These two chords intersect at the center, so those have to be the same. This was given. So you know that all of these have to add up to 360, so you can find the 97 that way. All right, so the length equals our arc measure. We're looking for TS is 97. And then we're given the radius, so we're going to have to double 4.5, which is 9 times pi. 97 um, times 9 is 873. And then if we plug that into our calculator, we're going to get an approximate answer of 7.62. And this time it's in millimeters. So that's the length of this arc. So remember the degree measure. If the central angle is 97 degrees, the arc measure is also 97 degrees. But in this video, we're learning about the length, which is a part of the circumference. Have a good day.